Hai una storia molto triste, triste, triste. Our teacher thought it was narcolepsy, narcolepsy, so she narcolepsy. bought you a diet Pepsi. 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 She thought you were pathetic, wanted you kinetic like Wayne Gretzky on a jet ski. But you downed it, let out a great big grepki, and went straight back to sleep. Is it the late hours that you keep? By the time you were a sophomore, the teachers began to scoff more. You would fall asleep in school. All you achieved was drool and face imprints on your forearm. You know, you did yourself much more harm than to me or to your teachers. Graduation, you're in the bleachers. Now, graduating was no deterrent. Now, you're in the bleachers, you wish you weren't. And look, that was just the way you messed up your high school years. A few years later, it was even worse. Let me tell you about it. You took thalidomide, your baby's arm solidified into a flipper. The father is a stripper. He didn't want to marry. He assumed you would miscarry. His name was Harry. But another thing that's scary, he sports a bulge of sorts. Men pass him five to Larry, and he pulls down his red shorts. And the patrons, they stop talking because they're barfing on his cock ring. There's some boyfriend that you got. Now you have a crippled tot. You choked it with leader hose and he got a stroke. Now his feet are frozen, he can't move without a ride. Mercy infanticide failed, normally go to jail. But every foster parent in the world looked at your son and then they hurled. Your judge wishes you succeeded because your son was born defeated. And that is a true story. Well, reflective of a true story anyway. This beautiful girl, her name was Fifth grade, she used to draw horses. Now she's a dominatrix and she shaved off her eyebrows. I just don't understand. Wait, 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 wait,